Welcome guys to another episode of Eye of Terror. We are back with the Shadows of the Underhive narrative campaign for Necromunda. I'm back with Ian, Sean, and Darren at the far end there, and they have their extremely talented Snake Eyes Venator company uh, coming back for another match. We are beginning cycle three now. So this is scenario five, cycle three. Each cycle has two scenarios. You guys have the option if you want to do or call on a house favor if you want to roll. So far you have vic one victory under your belt since the last time mm -hmm, that you've rolled. Mm -hmm. So you get a plus one to the roll if you want to do that. It's your call. You do that at the end of the, the game. Uh, I believe, or beginning. I'll double check before we get into details. But <laughs> either way, uh, so today's today's scenario uh, is going to be the Archaeotech Hunters in the Underhive. So Wilhelm uh, and the rest of the, the Venator gang uh, received a data slate uh, from their patron uh, in regards to rumors of uh, a tech vault uh, or a Archaeotech vault that has opened up in the Underhive uh, through some sort of like earthquakes and, and the hive shifting under all the weight of the hive above it and so the upper hives and that uh and so wilhelm had to go out and investigate the area which if you're a patreon you'll see the battle report on uh, our patreon account it is a, only a patreon member only battle report so you'll see that uh and then so it's a little side quest for for darren mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. and then uh after that, after the recon and uh, getting all the information, the gang has came in to actually go and investigate as a whole team to take on uh, or to crack into the vault and whatever lays inside of it. Unfortunately, things never go quite as planned and said Vansar are being led by another assailant uh, down here as well because mm. you guys aren't the only ones that have heard about this vault opening up. It's probably his brother. Oh, no, it could be. It could <laughs> be. So, with that said, the scenario today, let me just open up the book. The book. Uh, so, Cruiser D3 plus 7. So, we've already rolled for that. Uh, you guys have your full 9. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I have 9 as well. If I can remember, cool. so yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, it is custom, so you get to choose your own guys if you had more gang members than that. You get two tactics cards. Uh, then, it, for whoever has the lower gang rating, they get to randomly draw, draw one per hundred points difference in gang rating. So, Vansars have uh, hundred point, well, one hundred and thirty-five point difference. Uh, below you guys, so they got a third uh, card, which they drew. Uh, deployment is standard deployment rules for the sides. Uh, objectives is basically you're gonna crack open the vault. So when I show you the board, I'll show you where the vault is and where the, uh, what is it, the Automa, Aut Automa? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Automata? Automata? <laughs> Yes. Holy crap, <laughs> yes. That's automatic. 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 automatic, sounds good. <laughs> it, it, the robot. I'm just going to say the robot. Wow. Oh, man. A self-determining robot. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sleep deprivation is not good. No. Uh, ending the battle. Uh, so if one team has no fighters left on the board, including the guys that have escaped into the vault, mm -hmm. the game will end. Mm -hmm. uh, fleeing the battlefield, the exact same thing. Uh, there are side rules that if you say one team flees and the other one has guys left, they gain an extra D6 times uh, 10 credits for any fighters that are still on the battlefield, not seriously injured. Uh, and again, victory is whoever has the most guys inside that vault. And then obviously you have your rewards and stuff like that. So that is it. So let's show you guys the gangs, show you guys the boards, and get right into the match. Automa. <laughs> show, them, show them the How spelling. Can we pronounce Automata. it? Automata. Automata. All right, so here are the Killjoy Tech Stalkers. They are the uh, Vansar gang for today. You've probably seen this gang more or less in a nether battle report slash mini campaign that I did with Adam from Encounter Wargaming uh, probably like six months ago. So starting off, first we have Angelos. He is the leader of the Tech Stalkers. Uh, so he has a... Laz Carbine, High Star Pattern Energy Shield, uh, and a Laz Pistol. He has Mesh Armor, Armored Body Glove, Fast Shot, and Precision Shot. Uh, behind him is Shay. She's a champion. Uh, she has a Laz Pistol, then a Combi uh, 
LAS and PLAS. So it's a plasma gun with a low setting and then cause combi or a LAS gun as well. Uh, she has trick shot, mesh armor, armored body gloves, so four ups armor save. This guy has the same save as basically Wilhelm. Um, up front here, we have Espen, he's my other champion. He has LAS pistol, the uh, plasma gun, and then a shock stave. And then he has mesh armor, armor body glove, trick shot behind him. Back there is Bastelon. Uh, Bastelon is the Jew who has two times last pistol. And then up to the next page, uh, we got besides in the front here, we have uh, Gold uh, who has a last gun mesh armor, armor body glove. Behind him is a uh, lock. Locke has a rad gun and a las pistol back there. And then over on the side here, we have uh, Jaren, uh, who has a las gun mesh armor, armored body glove. You could probably see a pattern for the majority of them right now. Uh, and then behind is Brisbane, who has a las gun mesh armor body glove. And then the last guy there, <laughs> wait for it, wait for it, it's Lek. Not Locke, Lek, who has a last gun, a uh, mesh armor, and armored body glove as well. And then over here, we have this guy here who is a tech priest. Tech priest, Deterius Alpha Prime. Deterius Alpha Prime, sorry. Uh, he has a last pistol, uh, grenade launcher, and a power sword with trick shot, sprint, nerves of steel. Then he has mesh armor and a armored bodysuit as well. So, that is the gang that will be going up against the Snake Eyes Venator Company. And here we are with the Snake Eyes Venator Company. So, who's going to walk us through what they have? So, uh, up front on the left, we've got Creek. Creek. Old Creek. Yeah. Um, beside him is Wilhelm, the leader of the group. Yep. Yeah. And beside him is Sicarius Grimm, yeah. another champion. Uh, there's new newcomer uh, Friedrich von Ripper. Yes, uh, with von his Ripper. Infamous wiffle bat. Uh, <laughs> behind Friedrich, we have One Eye Aconitum. Yeah. Uh, beside her is Larkin Haugard. Yeah. And then a Skull Smasher. Yes. Um. And rounding out the crew, uh, we have Zizoth the Phantom. Zizoth the Phantom. And man. in the back, we have a good friend that has joined us for yet another fun adventure. Because you haven't been able to capture anybody yet or kill them. Nobody's interested in. Yep. It's Grendel Grendelson. All right. And then in the back there is... Richter Von Ripper. Who is just like a specialty hanger on that was uh, one in the very first scenario. Basically he, a rogue doc with modified stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't come out. He just heals people. So that is today's uh, Venator gang. Minus... Richter Von Ripper, which is the cousin to Friedrichs, I mean Friedrich <laughs> Von Ripper, according to these guys. So, <laughs> that is it. I'll show you the board next. Alright, so here we are with the board. Today is a Zone War Talus board. Uh, the walls themselves are the Death Ray design walls, uh, so the Derelict, or Deadbolt, Derelict, or Derelict's Deadbolt, one of the two. Uh, the wall sections. Uh, so, we got... Uh, the walls from them, painted them up, Ian and I, in a night, pretty much. We're uh, pretty sure the fumes are strong with us. Uh, and then we have some scatter terrain uh, from GameMat.eu, as well as uh, some of the GW stuff as well. So the exit, the tech vault, Archeo tech vault is over there. There's a couple of doors here blocking the way. Uh, you have one uh, pipe there that you can go through access tunnel, as well as over there. And then there's a door here, and inside is the robot in disguise. Transformers. No, no, it's just a robot that they have to activate and then get across the board and take out that wall there to open up the vault and then escape the board there. So, we're going to roll off here in a second, see what side people are going to be setting up on. All right, roll off for deployment, see who gets what side. I got a four, you got a five. You guys can pick your side and deploy. I forgot to mention, these doors are locked, so these things are going to be my terminals to access or unlock these doors. So you have to be within an inch of that. It takes a basic action, and you need to make an intelligence check at minus two. Uh, there's one on both of these doors as well. And then to activate, it's simple action, uh, and it is an intelligence check to activate the automa. Uh, Who? The automa. Yeah, yeah, that's it, the automa. That the what? Uh, so that is that. Uh, Deployment-wise, that is the Vanstar deployment with uh, Deterius 
Alpha Prime, and then over there you have the uh, Venator Company Snake Eyes, minus the two infiltrators, which they're going to set up right now. So where are you going to set them up? Oh, oh. We'll find it. So we have our deployment, or infiltrators. We have uh, Wilhelm Ironsight over there and Sicarius over there. So Wilhelm, I think, is going to try to automatically activate uh, and get that thing open. That's the hope, I think. And then Sicarius is probably going to try giving covering fire down there. So with that said, let's roll for priority, shall we? Come on, there. Come on, there. Out of one. Oh, this okay. is the uh, normal. Oh, you guys have priority. All right, we'll see what happens. Up for first for the Venator Company is going to be Wilhelm. And Wilhelm, what are you going to do? We're going to open the door. Okay, so it's a basic action, and you have a minus two to this roll, so you All need right. to get a seven. And seven up. Uh, yeah. Because I'm five. Yeah. <laughs> you make it. So that door is unlocked because you, when you access the terminal, as long as you're within an inch, which you are, uh, then that will give you a free access door option. So that will go over there and open up that terminal. What's your second action going to be? Well, I guess I got to move it. Well, you got to move him. You move him closer, yeah. You have yeah. to be within an inch of him to activate him, which you can't right now because it takes an action to do. Yes, but so, we're moving towards. So you're just going to move four inches yeah. over? Uh, All right. Or five? Movement. No, movement's four. Okay, so you just right. move four inches over. Do it, do it, do it. That is right. Just, yeah, it's a f small section. So you're, oh, you're just outside of yeah. half an inch, basically. So you can activate the next turn or next activation for you. All right. Tuck me in. Cool. Can I go in? I'm going to do a group activation with Angelos and two others next. Uh, so he's going to move first, and he's probably going to do a double move to get into a, a better position. Uh, so I'll move him first, and I'll do the other two next. So Angelos has moved over there behind uh, cover. He's just going to sort of face forwards in case anybody decides to uh, come around, actually. He'll go over right here. Um, in case anybody decides to come around and try to shoot him in the face with, say, a gun of some sort, you know what I mean? Uh, just because, actually, you know what? No, he's going to come out of line of sight. There, like so. Up, ne up next, Lek is going to be doing a double move as well, just to move up with Angelos up there. He ends his movement there, and then lastly is going to be uh, Deterius Alpha Prime, and he's just going to move up his 10 inches and basically will be coming up uh, over here like so. For whatever reason, this tech priest is working with the Vansar, uh, searching for this tech vault, Archeo tech vault, just like you guys. That could be interesting. Anyhow, that is, there you go. Up next, who's your next activation? Skull Smasher is gonna do a double move. All right, when an opponent activates, I'm gonna play a card, okay? okay. It's called Dangerous Footing. Immediately place a pitfall crater beneath the fighter. That fighter must take an initiative test. If it is passed, the fighter makes a move action to safety, and their activation continues. If the initiative test is failed, the fighter falls into the crater and immediately is taken out of action. The pitfall crater remains in place for the duration of the battle. Get out of that so, <laughs> so the pitfall goes there like so right below Skull Smasher. He needs to make an initiative test. What is his initiative? Five. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Darren. Five. D six. Do come on, roll a D six. You got this. No, you no. don't. He is taken <laughs> out of action. Uh, so the black's gonna be the tens, and the yellow will be the ones. Let's see what happens to him. 22, I think he's just out cold and misses this battle, so that's actually pretty good. So with that said, uh, I guess it goes over to me next, yep. and that's I am going to activate uh, Bruce uh, Bastelon, who's just a juve, and he's just going to move and uh, get up the board into a more relevant position. And Bastelon ends his move there after making a 10-inch move. All right, next activation is going to be Krieg. Uh, he's going to be doing a group activation. Yep. Okay, so who are we going to do first? Krieg? Uh, Krieg's going to go first, and he's right. going to do a double move, and then right. Larkin, he's going to do a double move. Well. Sounds good. We'll see where they go. So Krieg has done a double move all the way over there, and Larkin, who was the other one who was doing a part of that group activation, did a double move and ended his movement there. So they're starting to fill out throughout the board. 
Gonna do a group activation over here with Espen, and I think this is uh, Gold. Uh, so they are gonna, well, Espen will move first, and then we'll see what Gold does after that. All right, so Espen has moved up there with his move. Uh, I am gonna take another action, or second action is going to be a shoot action. We'll see if he, this Larkin is within 24 inches of him. Uh, so he's gonna use his plasma gun on you. So he's within 20 inches of Larkin. Uh, I'm gonna use the low setting on the plasma gun, uh, which uh, you give me minus two. Uh, he hits on a two plus, so he needs fours. So needing fours to hit. It be a miss. Woo! Woo! And that's that. Up next for the next part of the group activation is this guy, and he's just gonna move over here. Uh, Guild, uh, yeah, right back here. Right there, like so. Up next is Akanitem. You gonna activate her? Yep. She's going to do a double move. All right, we'll see where she goes next. And Akanitem ends her movement right behind Krieg, right there like so. I'm gonna do a group activation over here with Shay and with uh, Locke, who has a rad gun. So Locke's gonna move first, and we'll do a double move. So Locke, who did his double move, has moved around and just tucked in right there like so. Shay's gonna move up, and she's just gonna sort of duck here. Uh behind cover. Actually, I'll, I'll just measure because if I can tuck around and take a shot, that's what I'm going to do. But I don't think I can with her. So Shay just goes there with a double move just behind some cover in that, just in case Larkin or somebody else wants to try to shoot her. Alright, so I forgot both my champions have trick shot, which treat full cover as partial cover, so minus one, as well as ignoring the engage rule. So he would have hit Larkin all the way over there with the plasma gun, uh, which is not good. Uh, and it was three, I believe, was the symbol. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's hit three times with it. Was it rapid fire? It was rapid fire. Was it so, uh, was it three? Okay. so uh, I need to wound on threes for this one. All right, so that's three wounds. You have a minus two to your save. He has no save. He has no save. All right, so damage rolls time. Here's the damage rolls. Let's see what happens to Larkin. He's taking it of action. Black is the tense column. 45, I believe he's just out cold, but I'll double check that in a second. So Larkin is going, uh, taking a grievous injury and is going into recovery next turn. So we'll go back and get into the regular side of things uh, next with uh, their activation. Friedrich's up next. What are you going to do with him? Double move. Double move. Let's see where he goes. Correction again on this. Ian has mesh armor, and the low setting is a minus one, so he would have had three saves to make. So Six ups. Well, well, no, no, roll three. Uh, yeah, because I hit you three times. You yeah, had to roll so three gonna, times, so six ups. Three sixes in a row. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. No. No. <laughs> no. Would you like someone else to roll? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. All right, so the, the uh, same application of the damage still applies, and he is still in recovery with that grievous injury. And now back to Friedrich, who did a double move and is hiding behind that wall there like so. I'm going to activate Joran next, who's right there. He's just going to do a double move up this way with everybody else. And Joran goes right there like so. Phantom, or Zezoth, is next. Uh, he's going to try to... I'm going to try and jump it. All right. Let's see. Let's see if his initiative little... check. Let's see if his little... Uh, his little What's your initiative jump? first off? It's four plus. All right. So can no you get a four no plus? Glory. Ram. Oh! Hey. So you do jump the gap, uh, and then you just measure your distance. There. Yeah, so double move. Go from there. And the Phantom ends his movement right there, like so, after moving and jumping the gap. Brisbane is next. He's going to do a double move right there, like so. Everybody's right there. Yeah. Grendel <laughs> Grendelson is going to be activating next. Uh, what are you going to do with him? We're going to do a double move, but he's got to jump the gap. All right, can he jump the gap? Five up. Five up. Let's see if he gets it. I'll oh, laugh if he gets Christ. it. That would be beautiful. No! <laughs> oh! And he falls and is taken out of action. Because he's a bounty hunter, he doesn't actually rule for lasting injuries or anything along those lines. But uh, he is gone. All right, so here we are at the end of round one. My guys are all stationed here, ready to pounce and to go in various directions. Over here, you have Sicarius. Did Sicarius? Oh, we didn't go. Yeah, but well, Sicarius hasn't went yet, Ian. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, yeah. before the end of the round, let's see what Sicarius does. So, Sicarius, what are you going to do with him? Or uh, Ian, what are you going to do with Sicarius? move and All right. he's going to try to take a shot. What is his movement? His movement is three. Woohoo! Because he took a leg injury? Or, uh, no, he's no, just, just slow. Face? He's just slow, okay. So he's going to come here. Yep. 
I'm gonna have some cover. I think you got line of sight. To the <laughs> Actually, you big this guy right here is not open to you right now. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. He that guy, this guy over here. That guy right I think it'll be. He's, he's I thought we'd shoot this way. Oh, we're gonna go into lock I over there, right? Eh? Like we'll see what he does with this shoot action. All right, Sicarius, who are you gonna shoot with or at? I'm gonna take a shot at the tech priest down here. Can. So Deterius Alpha Prime. Uh, he's gonna have partial cover because he is a uh, taller. Yeah. Just for curiosity, so they can we see? Kind of What's that? He would have made it. Yeah, he yeah, would have made the other guy. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, this one sucks. Safe. This one works sucks. Safe. But all right. Okay. So, what are you shooting him with, though? You got to. I'm shooting that. him with a, a needle rifle. All right, needle rifle. All right. Let's see what happens. Number five. That's a miss. That's a miss. All right. Okay, so the end of the round now. This is what the board looks like. Like I was saying earlier. Uh, you guys need to make a bottle test. Nobody's seriously injured, but you guys do have to make a bottle test. I'm not touching the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody well, roll I'll a d6. Do I'll do it. D6. D6. All right, so one, so your guys are fine. All right, uh, rolling for priority for next turn. I rolled a one. Beat that, Sean. Beat it. Did you guys you. have it. Alright. Alright. <laughs> so, beginning of the phase, what, uh, so you're playing a tactics card? Oh, uh, yes, playing a tactics when, card. When, when you uh, play I it? I played the start of round okay. other than the first, okay. rolling after rolling for priority. Okay, so we just rolled for priority. Yeah. What is the tactics card? The tactics card is Darkness Descends. Alright. At a pre planned signal, the lights go out and the battlefield is plunged into darkness for the remainder of the battle. Pitch black scenario rules are in effect during each end phase. The opponent may roll a d6. On a 6, the pitch black rules are lifted and the lights come back on. Interesting. So everything goes dark. Everything's dark. So Krieg over here is going to do a group activation for the first activation this phase. And who's going to move first? Uh, Krieg's going to move first. Okay. Well, double I, move, obviously, double to move, get obviously, into yeah. a better position. Yep, yeah, obviously. Absolutely. And then, uh... So Krieg ends his move there after doing a double move. Up next, Aachen item is also doing a double move. We'll see where she goes. And she ends her movement right there like so. Locke's going to be activating next, and he's going to be taking a move action all the way over here. So Locke ends his movement there. I can't technically target anybody uh, that's outside of three inches, but with the flame template, you don't technically target. You place a flame template in the fighter's vision, front vision. So uh, it's going to be going this way like so. So it's going to be hitting... Uh, your guy over there who will become pinned, Wilhelm. Okay. And then I need to make a strength two hit versus you. What's your toughness? Three? It's a rad gun, by the way. So, here we go. So it's not a uh, wound, but you do take a minus one toughness. Actually, you have an armored bodysuit. No, you don't. Never mind. You don't take a rad phage. Zezoth is going to be your next activation this round. Yeah. Uh, so, what are you going to do with him? He's going to move and shoot. All right, move and shoot. Let's see where he goes. And Zezoth has moved there. Uh, are you going to shoot somebody? He's going to shoot into yeah. Buddy here. Okay. Actually, you actually could... he's not going to shoot. He's going to throw a knife. He's, he's going to throw a knife. Okay, yep. it's a silent weapon. It's a silent weapon, yeah. So, it's not going to allow me to shoot you back. Uh, nope. That's okay. Yep. So, uh, what's your ballistic skills? My ballistic skill is a 4+. plus. Okay. Goes to a. Easy. I'm gonna be behind Easy. full Easy. cover. From there? I think so because it's more. It's over. It's like three quarters of my height. That pipe. But you are. Yeah, he's on the short end. All right, so first cover here on said lock. So you get a minus one. Okay. So I just need a five then. Right. Yeah. If your ballistic skill is four plus. Yeah. He's a four plus, and he, he's, he was in. Is that within six inches or so? Uh, that would be within six inches. Yeah, so he has short range, so there's no negative anything like that. Okay. All right. Is there a bonus to it? No, no bonus. Okay. Just no, like long range is negative. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so fives. It hits. Yes. All right. So what is it? It's a. Uh, it is. Toxin is it? Toxin. Wrong? Yep. Okay. So. So it's AP minus one, by the way. Okay, so you roll your that over top of his uh, toughness three. So three or higher is what you need. Nothing. What? But he is pinned. So he's going to go face up, down, whatever. Bastelon's going to be activating next, and he is going to move. Doing a double move uh, to get in here like so with uh, Bastelon. I was hoping to do a shot with him, but I couldn't get in within three. So he's just moving up there. Sicarius is up next. 
What are you going to do with them, Ian? I see your friend over there out in the open. Yeah? You can see this guy here? Yeah. Kill ball. I'm going to have to shoot at him. All right. And because he did shoot last time, he, uh, you can see him. All right, so what do you need to hit? Fours? I need a four. All right. What are you shooting them with? With the needle rifle. All right. Go ahead, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I'm going to use fast shot. Yeah, absolutely. Try it again. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Your dice rolls are like mine last game, except my priority uh, rolls have sucked. The Tyrius Alpha Prime is going to uh, activate next for me, and he is going to do a double move. Because he has sprint, he can move up to 15 inches. And with sprint, he can move 15 inches, so he ends his movement over there like so. Friedrich's going to be the Snake Eyes crew or company's next activation. What are you going to do with him? He's going to do a double move. All right, we'll see where he goes. Darren, you want to so Friedrich does a double move and is ending right there like so. It looks like he's going to get all congested up in here. Gull's going to be next. He's going to do a double move and he's just going to come over here like so. Uh, behind that ammo crate and such. Alright, activating your last character this turn for the uh, Snake Eyes crew or company is Wilhelm. He stands up, which is an action. And then you're going to try to activate the Automa. Yes, please. Alright, needing to roll a five or higher on these two dice. So. That is going to be it, you, no matter what. Well, one. it's a four plus a one. It's automatically <laughs> five or higher, so it doesn't matter. I guess the All right, so you matter. activate that guy there. All so right. you will have one more activation this turn with that model. Jordan's going to be my next activation. He's going to do a double move just to get into a better position. Ending his movement there like so. The Automa is the last activation now for you guys because you activate it with Wilhelm. Uh, what are you going to do with him? He's going to charge. Cool. He's going to charge. He is within three inches. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Brisbane is within three. So you roll a d3, just for distance wise, because you're supposed to roll it. All right. So you get four inches of movement, or five inches of mo movement technically, but you yeah. can't really get any further. Um, all right. So you charge. Yep. You get plus one attack, and you have a heavy rock cutter, which you have three attacks base with this thing, I believe. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, we have three attacks base with that. Plus so one, plus one so. char from charging. So Here we yeah, go. hit on what? Fours. All right. I'm hoping all these fail. <laughs> oh my goodness, no. these are brutal. Sixes. And one fails. All right. So then you have to roll the wounds. Roll the wounds. Okay. So I'm only toughness three. This thing has strength what? Strength uh, plus four, and you strength five. So, so strength, strength nine. nine. So you need to wound on two. So I'm hoping for triple ones. It's not gonna happen, but I'm hoping. They all wound. All right, so you're going to do a lot of damage to this guy. A lot of damage. What's the damage on this? Uh, the damage is three. Anyway, oh, my so goodness. That's so that's nine, nine damage. Wounds. So I only have six damage dice. So let's, let's see what happens. Just start rolling these damage dice. And uh, there's another one, and there's another one. So all you got right, so three more have, after this. If you don't six. somehow take them out of action, <laughs> if they're all serious injuries, uh, he's dead either way. He's, yeah, dead. he's dead. All right, so you know roll, Brisbane, roll uh, 2d6. Okay. Dude, black is the tens column. Yep, just tighten the board. So black They're is the tens yep. and yellow is the... Bastelon die, is... Die, die. He's <laughs> in recovery, missing next game. And then you get to move him two out, out, inches as credits, well. Right? Okay, so. so we should move him. Where should we move him, guys? What? We need to get towards the door, but if we move, then we're going out in the open. I don't know. Yeah, You're going to have to go in the open eventually. Yeah, go in the open anyways. So. Okay. Go yeah, two inches well. forward. All right. So two inches, just, well, let's measure two inches this week. Right, here. Yeah. Two inches forward. There. Right there. There you go. So, like, so he's right just going to go right, right, right there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. By the end of the round, the Automa down there uh, decides to power down. Uh, you guys only have three guys out of action, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so he's technically can't bottle. Because you need to get higher than yeah. your starting numbers. So even if you rolled, it doesn't matter. I have one I can't bottle. So no serious injuries at this point in you time. roll for the lights, though. Yes. yes. Who six. rolls for the you lights? Do. I do. Okay, need a six. Here we go. That's a one. That's a pretty standard. The lights are off. That's okay. I still have all my other activations first, too. <laughs> I gotta do all my movement. <laughs> so over here, I forgot that Locke uh, needs to make a cool test to see if he uh, breaks. He's loving it. He's good with a nine. All right, so the end of the round, after everybody has moved around and did all their stuff because I was almost about to jump ahead, uh, the 
board looks like so. Everything's sort of coming up over here. I need to make a priority roll. That is the hope that I get a priority roll this turn. We'll see what happens though. We'll see. No bottle test or anything like that. Nobody can bottle this turn because everybody's uh, only has th at most three people out of action and myself only one. Uh, so somebody roll priority against me, sir. Somebody. Somebody. <laughs> I don't care who. Oh, there's that. There's that. Out of five this time. That's pretty strong. Oh. Let's try that again because that was cock. All right. So it's going to come to me because you guys had it last. Angelos is going to group activate uh, and he's going to take with him, I think, uh, Shay. And that, I believe, is Lek. Not Lock, Lek. Uh, so he's going to go first, and he's just going to move. Like so. Be within an inch. Activate the Automa. So, need to make an intelligence check. He has intelligence 4+, plus, and he makes it. So, Up next is going to be Shay. She's going to move, and she's going to come up... Uh, Actually, not Shay. It's going to be uh, Lek here. He's going to move up. And he's going to just move up into this section right here. So he's going to go up. That's two. And then two. And he's going to fire. He's going to fire, or attempt to fire, at the Phantom there. Yeah, uh, something in the way first, obviously. but uh, It'll be partial. So Here's Lek's cool test. See if I can actually shoot him. Uh, he can't, so he has to shoot into Friedrich instead. Uh, so he's got full cover. Yeah. So I am in short range with a las gun, and he needs threes normally. Uh, I get plus one to this, so that takes two. So I need fours. Fours to hit him. Let's see if I can hit Lek. I cannot. And let's see if two plus ammo save. <laughs> he makes it. Last one is going to be uh, Shay, and Shay's just going to move up four inches, Boink. just right behind this person here. So I'm not in your front arc, you no longer get your shield. And she's going to shoot with her gun. So Shay's hitting on two, I get a minus two because of full cover, plus two from being in short range, and then Trick Shot treats your cover as minus one instead of minus two. Um, so hitting on twos. <laughs> hey, now we know where two of his wow. are. Wow. Yep. That was a crap, crap roll. Very crap. Oh my goodness. Ones when you don't need them. Will, uh, Wilhelm's going to do a group activation? Yes, we will yes. group together and activate ourselves. All right, who's going to be your first activation? Out of the group. I think it's gonna be Wilhelm? Wilhelm? Yeah. So you can get a shot off? Yeah. Sounds good. We're going with. All right, so Wilhelm is shooting into, I think that's a Lek. No, Lock. Uh, yeah, Lek up there. All right. Here we go. Yes. I'm... You ready? Yeah. So you hit. He's going to be pinned. Oops. Oops. And now roll the wound. And that was a four to hit, so you do push him back an inch as well. Right. And that's no wound. And that was... All right, so he is pushed back that inch as well. So get the freak over there. All right, Friedrich, you're going to be charging first, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. Yep. And charging into? Charging into lock. Okay. Lock, right? Lock? Uh, yeah. Lek? Right. It's lock. 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 Lek is... Le uh, or le uh, oh, we got lots of charge lock. room. It is lek. Here, let's move him up oh, you're in. You're in automatically. Yeah, yeah. You're in automatically. So. And you're with it. So he stands up for free? Yep. Yeah, and he's just and gonna face him. Fight Absolutely. Charge. All right, so you charge. So go ahead and roll. You get one attack plus your dual weapons. I'm assuming. So yeah. one for charging. So yeah. Three attacks. Now uh, you gotta declare. Make one, de make one a different colored die, so that right. way it's the shield or something like that. Um. He's at the top. The shield is. Uh, the shield is. Knock back. I would do the shield over top yeah, of the mall. Yellow's for shield. Yeah. Yellow shield. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's the better of the options, yeah. I yeah. think. All right. So you hit on fours, I'm assuming? Uh, yes. Okay. So your shield hits twice. Okay. So he's going to get pushed back an inch. But roll the wound. I don't know. I, I think you can follow up if you want, but I don't know if you'd want to if you don't take him out of action. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Roll the wound. Uh... 
strength. Strength, three. strength is three. Okay. So you need fours. For both. Yep. All right, so one, uh, he has a four plus save, unless there's an AP modifier to uh, it. Uh, no. Okay, so four plus save, he's good. And you knock him back, mm -hmm. and let's double check to see if you can follow up. If you want, I wouldn't, because then I'm just gonna reactionary strike, I think. So with that combat, Zezoff is next, you're yep. gonna charge. He's gonna charge, Kay. is he in? Uh, I'm assuming you have your you, you have your goggles, so like yeah, you're you're in you distance. Yeah, he's also being he's also being yeah. spot anyway. So you're you're in for damage uh, distance wise. Yeah, so he's yeah. in right okay. there. Absolutely. And he's going to actually use both his flechette pistol, which is a sidearm. Yeah. With solid rounds mm -hmm. and a slender knife. Cool. Yeah. So, so what one? So first. only one die can be your sidearm. Yeah. Okay. So black eye. Yep. Uh, let's get it. Arm with Absolutely. Ammo. Absolutely. So the black's going to be the sidearm. Black's going to be the sidearm, and yeah. then to... And what do you need to hit? I need to hit... Uh, let me see. Fours on your... Yeah, fours. Fours on, on each. Fours on each. Okay. Alright, so, so the sidearm misses, and then the two stiletto knives go through. Yep. Uh, they're That's toxin, are they not? Are yes. there minus one uh, armor save? No. No minus to no, armor? Nothing. nothing. Okay. Is it to it's toxin. It's toxin. So yeah. roll you roll toughness first off. Let's see if I need to save these. Okay, so one goes through, so I need to make one save of four plus. No. And uh, it I believe does an injury to them automatically. We'll double check though. Alright, so here's the injury roll up against Shay. Uh, so let's see what you do to her. Which can be good. Seriously injured? You can coup de gras her Watch and take her out of action. So she is a champion, so you get two experience nice. that way. He and you get something. to move inches, two Just inches, off. to reposition. Alright, move two inches. Yep. Maybe in Keep cover. Move behind cover. <laughs> yes. Probably like right here. Alright, roll the uh, black as a tens and yo oh, yeah. You got it. As a uh, ones. Right. Let's black see what tens, get. yellow, six. and ones. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine? That would be Lovely. insane. 56 oh. is still pretty good. I think that's, that's going to be an injury, that's like head injury or something. Good. So Shay is now enfeebled, which decreases her toughness by one. So she's now toughness two. And you just move back behind cover there. So I'll, I'll do my activation next. All right, so I'm going to activate the Automa next. He's going to charge. He's automatically in on Wilhelm. He's going to turn around and charge there. Uh, I'll roll just to be like, yeah, I officially I'm in. Um, <laughs> So he has three attacks, uh, four because he charged, hitting on fours with his heavy rock cover. All right, so two hits. Two, two hits, yeah. Needing two to wound. That's two wounds. Yeah. Now you saves? get your arm. Now no, you get your armor saves. saves. Okay. So you're at minus four. So your two plus all of a sudden becomes a uh, five plus. So. Go ahead. You can do it. Both at the same yeah. time. Five and six. You need a five or a six on these. Oh my hey! goodness! Look at that. That is fantastic. <laughs> you can reactionary strike against it if you want. Why would I want yeah, to do that? You me. could. I'm just saying, you can. Please. So, fucking okay, item over here is going to shoot into the back of Law, uh, Lek. And you're going to aim and shoot first. Aim. Yeah. And I got to check range because it is a last gun. Think so I think you're, you're within. I am. I am within 18 inches. Um, I think I'm within eight <laughs> inches, but that's just my thoughts. So uh, that becomes a two up. Yeah. So you're a three up normally with her. Uh, she's a four up, but awesome. um, plus one for aiming, and then that. Yeah. Okay, so you hit. He's pinned. Uh, and roll the dice. Needing a force. Give me a favor here. No, no, sir. All right, that still worked. He is pinned now. Detorious Alpha Prime is going to activate, and he's just going to activate said console over here uh, with his intelligence minus two. So his intelligence is a six plus, needing eight or better. It's three, so nothing. <laughs> Takari is going to be activating next. You're going to do what with him? I'm going to move okay. and shoot at the uh, pinned character. Okay, so you're going to move three inches. Yep. And hopefully... Get line of sight. Shift over here. Because if see, I have any line. partial cover on you uh, at all, thing, then he can't see him. The right? only thing you can't see is just his barrel of his gun. Like this okay. there. Okay. Yeah. So. Alright. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Go ahead. Just bring my laser uh, what is my level. Yeah. Oh, that's nine. Ian and I used to do yeah, 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 it. nine. It shoots the laser line right over top mm. of the fours. The fours. And Misses. Wow. Uh, in the way nice. for for said guy. One, two, three, it hits Krieg. Just roll a D6. Does not hit Krieg, so you're good. No. Over here, uh, they did take out Shea, so technically Locke or Lek has to make a cool test. Which well, he would ran, run when he can, because he's cool. broken. And then my leader, I think, was outside of four, so yeah, he would have been fine. So he is broken. There is in actually, so he's fine. Locke, not Lek, who's broken, is gonna stand up. And this is where I'm gonna try to sacrifice my own and flame template up that way. Instead of shooting, he's just gonna move four inches over this way, like so. Kree's gonna do a double move. Where are you gonna move him? He's gonna move in a general this direction. Hopefully yeah. he's gonna end up here. Sounds good. But we'll find out. Behind the container, you're just moving scuffle, all the way scuffle. here, like so. <laughs> Chain is dragging. Espen's gonna do a group activation next over here. Uh, he's gonna start off by moving. So for the first part, uh, Espen did a double move up there like so. And then we're gonna move over here. I think this is Jordan. No, this is Brisbane. Yeah, Brisbane is gonna move as well. And he's going to end right there like so. These guys are just going to do a double move because they're the last ones to activate this round. They're just lining up right there like so with double moves. So the end of the round, nobody can bottle yet. Uh, let's see if the lights come back on in 6+. plus. Nope. Lights are out still. Uh, priority next turn. Let's see what happens. I'll do it. Got a 4. You got a 1. Goes to me. I'm gonna do a group activation over here uh, with Angelos affecting my two guys there as well. Uh, we're gonna start off over here, I think, with uh, that is Locke and his rad gun, first off. So he did a move action like so, and then he's going to use his rad gun on both uh, Wilhelm and uh, Friedrich. And so he hits both of them, they're both pinned automatically. Uh, get a wound up against, well, roll an ammo die first off. Where's the ammo die? Thank you. Ammo die. Nope. We're gonna roll the wound up against Friedrich. What's your toughness? Three. Tough three. Okay, nothing. And up against Wilhelm. Nothing. But they both are pinned. Let's see if this guy recovers at the end phase. Forgot to do that. And he would have. So he's gonna activate like normal stand up and just shoot Zezoth. Point blank. Uh he gets a three plus normally. Short range gives me a plus one. So, and then one cover. That, that, would, so. that, would, that would count, right? Cover or no? Yeah, I, I get a minus one, so I hit oh. you on force now. Right. So, which I hit you. And do I wound? I do wound. Do you save is the question. Um, he does have mesh armor, so. Yeah. As he do all set, do that D6. No AP? No AP. It's the last gun. Just the last gun. Okay, so, so five up ten? Five up. Injury roll. Let's see what happens. Oh. Out of action. Uh, black will be the 10s column. So 22, he's just out cold, missing this match. Angelos, just move over. He's going to make a, hopefully, make a leadership test. On top of test. Oh, yeah, he's good. On a 4 plus. So he's good with a 5. So that is under their control. I technically hit the servitor with a rad gun. Uh, let's see if I wound it. I don't on a 2. And that was from uh, Locke over there. Uh, I forgot that it technically does need to roll the wound against that as well, so. Scarius is going to be activating next. What are you going to do with him? He's going to take a shot into uh, lock. lock. Into Lock, the guy with the rad gun. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Of course. He not misses. A four. Next shot. Oh my also god. Also misses. Oh, no. Alright, so. I'm going to do a. Yeah, I'm going to do a activation with. Uh, group activation. They're within four inches, so they should be able to group activate. So uh, I will do a group activation with Espin, and this is Brisbane. So we'll start with we'll start with uh, Espin first, and he's going to move his four inches towards Krieg, which will get him definitely within three, like so, just in the open. And uh, I'm going to shoot him with the plasma gun. Rapid fire. 
hitting on twos. <laughs> yeah! Uh, ones always fail, unfortunately. So my ones, uh, well, that sucks. Anyhow, it is what it is. You can see them now. So. I can see them. Everyone can see them. Yep. <laughs> this guy over here, he's just going to, uh, I think, aim and shoot. But it's silent, can't see him. Oh, it's silent. Okay, so then he's going to move and then shoot. Because yeah. he's definitely had, I can get within three inches of him with yeah. my four inch movement. Uh, so, let's see what I can do. Talk about a misery. I hit. Uh, so your pins. And then, it's one of your heroes though, right? So, toughness is four. Needing fives to wound. There's a wound. It's a last gun, so no AP whatsoever. Alright, so you take a wound. <laughs> Krieg is up next and is going to charge. I was hoping to take him out with my plasma gun. Close, so you can follow up. All right, yeah. So guy. he's gonna go here, like so. Yeah, sure. Yep. Absolutely. Charge. Okay. And then he's gonna stim use. Slug? Actually, yeah, he's gonna use a stim slug stash. Get plus two. Well. Plus two. two. So plus two toughness, yeah. strength, and everything. Yeah, yeah. All right, and so I'm gonna use probably. We guys think just one power pick or two power picks to thunder hammer. Yes, yeah, spread yeah? it even. Okay. So, because we have. Four attacks. Four attacks. Yeah, plus um, one from charge, gonna plus be one from the power pick. Yep. And black's going to be the All right. Back. What do you need to hit? He needs threes. Threes. Okay. Well, one on one hit, miss. Yep. Okay. Roll the wound. Uh, he has toughness three, so you're now higher than him. Your strength what base? Uh, strength six. Yeah. So you need twos to wound here. All right. So. <laughs> yeah. See what happens. So black is still power. Uh, Thunder Hammer and yep. Yellow Power Pick. Alright, so they both wound. AP's good. Uh, AP for the uh, minus one for the Thunder Hammer, then plus okay. minus three for the Power Pick. So. Okay, so I don't get a save versus a pick, but against the Power uh, hammer. hammer, I Thunder get a, hammer, sorry. a Thunder Hammer, I get a five up. No, so both go through. Nice. Alright, so. Yeah, and then for damage wise. Yes, yeah, damage. Um, so roll one um, for the Power Pick. And then and three for the hammer. Three for the hammer. Okay, so let's see so what you do. Four. I think you're going to take him out of action. I think that's <laughs> I what's going to so. happen. I really do. He's taken out of action, because seriously. So. And these guys are all within three, or within four. So. Within, yeah, you can just charge into one. So. Yeah. Well, let's, let's just turn around and yeah. say hello to this. Say guy. hello to my little friend. Let's go to the guy with the rat. Black for tens, and yellow for Black ones. Yellow let's see what the lasting injury is. All right, 41. I think it's just out cold. It's not 40 something is, is higher. Uh, so he's he goes into recovery. Yeah. So let's see if my one guy uh, lock is gonna break again. Actually, he earns an experience from recovering last That's time, right. and he's gonna break again. <laughs> Six inches. He's running. He's just gonna go one, behind two. over here, out of out of line of sight. So right yeah. there. Uh, Automa's gonna charge into Wilhelm. That's a three. <laughs> the other way. He's in. Um, so he's just going to charge around. Bam. Uh, hitting on fours. Let's see what I can do. All right. So two hits with the heavy rock cutter. Wounding on twos. Two wounds. And you don't get your shield because you are prone. Wait, wait, Actually, you technically stand up. So you do get twos? your shield. Should. It's weapons. Uh, let's just go five plus. Or no, no, plus. I, no, no. To wound. It's oh, strength okay. versus his toughness. Right. And right. so, yeah. So you need fives to save these two dice again. You rolled double fives last time. Can you do it again? I don't this think time. so. You don't want these to go through. Okay, so one goes through. Uh, it's damage what? Two? What was it? Damage two or three? I can't remember. We'll double check. All right, so Wilhelm has two wounds. This does three damage, and so one attack goes through. So it gets one from taking him to zero, then one from the excess. So let's see what happens to him. He is seriously injured. Gonna take him out of action with the coup de gras. So can you coup de gras with the? Uh, yeah. It's a regular. It's a regular uh, model. So it rolls over his neck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Black's gonna be tens. Let's see what happens to Wilhelm. Sixty-five. That is not good. Not so good. So Wilhelm is uh, now critically injured. Has to be saved by the rogue doc. Thankfully, you do have a rogue doc, which is really good. Uh, that is a free rogue doc roll. So we'll see what happens to Wilhelm at the end. Friedrich is your last activation for your side? Uh, no, correct? so I have Aachen item. Oh, Aachen item as well. Okay, so Friedrich's gonna stand. You're gonna deal with him. 
Shoot the leader. Shoot the leader. So, I'm going to turn around and see him. All right. What's his ballistic skill? Four plus. All right. Roll the hits. Plus one for him range. So. Yeah, so three plus. Three plus. Three plus. Let's see if you get it. And he hits. And it's not a rapid fire. What type of gun is it? Just last gun? Yeah. yeah, so you hit, so he's pinned. Because he doesn't have nerves of steel or anything like that. Roll the wound. So you need fours to wounds. Because he's only in toughness three. It's a wound. Can I save it on a four up? No, I can't. So he takes a wound out of his two. So he has one wound left. This guy's going to try to open up the door again. Hopefully he rolls half decent. Oh yeah, he's loving it. So that's his one action. So that door is open. We're going to close oh, that yeah. door. We're going to close that door again. Oh, okay. And he has to roll to get out of the way. No, he doesn't. He's... No, he has I, I, that's only if I'm in the way of the uh, door. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he's going to move... Uh, I think he's going to move five inches just into a more relevant position, I think. So just up... Uh, yeah. Just up beyond the theme of Bobber. So... One, two, just up here. He's Screw gonna it. Play. He's gonna come play with his grenade launcher. Oh, can I? am just gonna move. Where are you gonna move her? She's gonna try and charge into the back of this guy here. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think so. That's a one plus. Five inches. I don't think that's gonna be enough, but we'll measure it out and see where she goes. Let's see. Let's he did move. shoot, so that you can technically. So she has to move probably like what, three inches out here? Yeah, you're not going to have enough range. We'll see. So she does not have enough range to actually get into melee and ends her movement right there like so. Jordan's going to activate next. He's just going to move so you're fully within no cover or anything like that. And shoot. Needing threes. Hits. Ammo roll. He's out of ammo with a last gun. Uh, rolling to wound, your toughness is four. Uh -huh. Needing fives. No, nothing. Nothing. Bald is the last one. He's just going to move over uh, two, four here to get a clear shot on Aachen item. And uh, see what happens. Uh, I need what with gold normally? Three plus, plus one for short range, so it does hit technically. Within three? I definitely think that's within three because two is that square if you look at it. Just check. Yeah. 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 Uh, rolling the wound, needing fours. That's a wound. What is she wearing? She's mesh. mesh. I think all you guys did. Ah, you hey, save it. it. She is pinned though. So. Yes. All right. End of the phase. You gotta roll to see if you bottle. Yep. Go ahead. You do. do. Okay. I gotta see if the lights come back on. <laughs> it doesn't matter, really. We're so close in right now. All right, so the beginning of the phase, somebody, people have to start making cool tests now to see if they yeah. stick around or if they flee. Beginning of the phase, uh, we roll for priority. And then before anybody takes actions, you guys need to start making cool tests to see if you run away. So I got a four. You got a three. I'll take it. All right, cool test time. Krieg's good because he doesn't need to. Uh, Scarius can make one. And then if he makes it, will affect both. Five up. And he's also good. All right. So, I'm going to gonna start off with a... Oh, and this guy. Or oh, yeah, that guy too. Yeah. He needs to make one. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Right. What's his cool? For Friedrich. Six. Cox. Cox. Get a five. No, oh. he runs away. So he's just removed from the board. All right, so these guys, instead of uh, attempting to continue on and win the scenario, these guys are going to choose a bottle. They don't think it's going to be worthwhile uh, to continue on. You know, combat over there, so I pretty much have free access to that. And then I still have some other guys around here. So that is that. Uh, we will do the post-game action or sequence next, and uh, we'll go from there. So with Krieg fleeing the battle and him being in combat, he needs to make an initiative test. Yep. So go ahead. And, five uh, up. Yeah. 
so forth. So he's considered seriously injured uh, at the end of the match. So he does have to see if it becomes like a lasting injury and such. So, okay. all right. So on a one or two, Krieg, who uh, is considered seriously injured, uh, succumbs to his injury. So okay, you so want to roll three or higher here on this roll. So he's fine. Cool. So. I get to see if I capture anybody, or the Vansar captures anybody, so I need to get 13 or higher. Alright, so I do not capture anybody, uh, so that's good for you guys. Uh, and I think that's it for that portion. Alright, so I have six, the Vansar have six guys left on the board, uh, so due to the receive rewards portion, if there's nobody on the board at the end of the game, they get D6 times 10 credits. So they have six guys, that's 60, 10. So it's gonna be 180, uh, 260, 280 credits to do what they want with. All right, so experiences. Everybody who participated in the match gains an experience. Uh, so, Ian, why don't we start with you? What, who has what experience? Um, Arcanitum has five. Okay. Sicarius has three. Yep. Larkin has two. Okay. Sean? Um, Dizoth Phantom has seven, and Krieg has six. Very good. So Zezoth is going to be rolling yes. on the chart to see if he advances, uh, or what he gets. He will get something. Darren, your three guys? Uh, Frederick is at three. Okay. Uh, Wilhelm is at seven. Nice. Skull Smashers has advanced once, and he's left with three. All right, so he's close to getting the second advancement. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Reputation-wise, you gain one reputation, so your reputation goes up to what? Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. All right. So that's pretty good. Uh, Post battle actions, you gotta see what happens to Wilhelm. Uh, he did. No, he he's critical injured. Uh, he did. You gotta roll a d6 here, Darren. And he don't want a one, because he will die. It's a five. So, he is just critically injured, or seriously injured. He's going to get a injury roll of 50 some odd on the lasting injury chart. So we'll see what that is. Darren, roll that D6. Let's see what the injury is. So it's 50 something. Right. And this is the ones. 53. That's another hand injury. Another hand injury. Weapon skill decreased by one. Can so you double six. check double check that just to see if you have like two hand injuries? Sort of like more time if you had two like lag injuries, your guy is now retired or something along those lines. Alright, so Zezoth has uh, advanced. We're gonna do that right now, just because we can. Uh, so roll 2d6 and let's see what happens to him. Five! He gets increased strength or toughness by one. Ooh, both are good. Yeah. Melee, your strength is good, but you use Toxin Blade, so that really doesn't matter when you're going up against Toughness, but Toughness makes it harder for people to wound you. I say Toughness. Alright, Toughness goes up by one. That's increasing his value by 30 credits. Alright, All right. that's awesome. Alright, so you guys are doing what with your money? Because you guys get your 130 rep uh, credits from your reputation uh, at the beginning of a cycle, so your 13 reputation times so that by 10, so 130. We will be uh, recruiting a new champion. Okay, because your reputation is high enough. And they're going to be kitted out with the missile launcher we have in our stash. Yep. As well as some mesh armor and a servo claw. <laughs> servo claw and <laughs> missile launcher. Uh, all right, so what skill trees are you giving them? Uh, for primary, we're taking brawn and savant. Nice. And uh, for his starting skill, we're going to take bulging biceps. Ooh. So we can wield that unwieldy weapon in one hand. That's cool, that's cool. And if you look at Savant, you take an aim action, you get a bonus. One of the skills gives you, instead of plus one, it gives you a plus two when you aim instead. So that's pretty fun. Uh, Stat-wise, what stat-wise are you going uh, We're going with profile... Uh, oh, did we decide on that profile? I'm not Actually, sure. Yeah. Go for the we'll find it. All right, so the profile is going to be... Uh, five inch for move. Yep. A weapon skill and ballistic skill four. Yep. Strength three. Okay. Uh, toughness three. Mm -hmm. um, one wound, four up initiative, okay. one attack, uh, seven up leadership, six up cool, seven up will, seven up intelligence. Cool. Well, he's Sounds a champion, good. So he would have two wounds. When he... Oh yeah. That's yeah, he would true. have two so two, two wounds. So. But it won't be it won't be that. No, we'll vastly different, different. it's two wounds basically so all right and besides that you're not doing anything else because you have no money left yeah no, no credits left uh 
So tally up your total gang rating for me, and let's figure what that is with this new character. So here we are with the uh, Snake Eyes Venator Company. Uh, what is the total credit rating of everybody now? 1,940 credits. Oh my god! You guys are getting up there. Uh, Wilhelm is in recovery for the next mission, and you are missing one model here, which I'm assuming, Ian, you're going to... I will Kit bash. Yep. Do you? Uh, I got the I got the servo claw for you, so I'll give that to you before you leave. Um, but yeah, so this will be the gang minus Wilhelm for the next mission and Larkin. And uh, Larkin. So these two on the end, and then it will have the new guy, whatever his name is. So that is that. Uh, we'll come back with the after action report next. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Here we are with the after action report. You just saw uh, Snake Eyes Venator Company up against the Vansar, the uh, tech stalkers as they're known. And uh, Wilhelm had a very interesting had a bad day. Day today. A, it's it is the gang that uh, you you're, came from. Came yes. from. So it's uh, one of those things that you had a bit of a hatred for them. Yeah. Uh, flashbacks at all? Flashbacks. flashbacks yeah. Your brother bit. wasn't there though. I didn't see him because no, I was no. lying on my back. You were lying on your back most of the time. <laughs> your brother was not here. Inventory. So, um, but overall, a few things that I really thought was interesting in this scenario. A was the dangerous footing yeah. that I played yeah. on, on Skull Smasher. Yeah. That was that was just like, I was just like, he oh. tripped in his skinny yeah. It was like a cartoon. Like it the was. ground just dropped, his leg just windmilled, <laughs> yeah. and he just went straight down. Down the hole. And then Grendel Grendelson trying to jump over it. <laughs> you should have tossed the dwarf. Well, yeah, tossed yeah, don't his, toss the dwarf. Zizoth could do it, so why yeah. couldn't he? Well, he, just, right? he just floats though, right? Like, yeah. He just floats yeah. across yeah. the board. And so, Hoverboard. Yeah, no. that was, but that, I, I think that was a highlight for me. Yes, yes. And Good was move. was that I like as soon as I saw that it was in my deck of cards for the Vansar, I'm just like, yes, that is what I'm doing. And then you guys set up three guys across the doorway, the small doorway, and I'm just oh. like, perfect spot for the the collapsing floor. Well, well played. Yeah. Well played. Well played. Well played. Um, and it's good. It's good. I liked it because I think your grenade launcher would have hurt <laughs> oh, if, was... if you got in on me. So. I think. But the other thing that I really enjoyed was the darkness. Yes. Made me change things a little bit for how these guys gave play. Us a chance. But it was it was it it was a little bit difficult. It gave us hope before you pulled it. Gave, <laughs> gave us hope. <laughs> yeah. Well this was your first loss as your company. Yeah. Oh you're, it was you're... crushing though. It, it, was, I was, bad. Sad. it was bad. It felt yeah. like an uphill battle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you steamrolled through the last four scenarios, so I want to make sure <laughs> that this one was at least a little bit tougher. Maybe this one was too tough, I don't know. Uh, it was, uh, but it was, I think, just through the right choice of tactics cards and then mm. just some lucky rolls and stuff like that, I think it, it was all right. Uh, unfortunate, like we were discussing earlier, mm -hmm. priority-wise, that was a game-changer because we yeah. had two guys that could activate that aut uh, automa, uh, autonoma mm -hmm. and... Uh, <laughs> oh, the robot, for Christ's sakes! Automata. <laughs> Automata. Automata. <laughs> uh, so there's Wilhelm, and then there was Angelos, mm -hmm. the uh, leader of the gang, and and both of them could easily activate it. Yeah, imagine and them so scrabbling, was, trying, trying to push the button. <laughs> as, as they're like taking oh, shots I around it, it. like, oh, it. <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm shooting you. <laughs> so, and that was a big thing, is because like. You guys got priority first mm -hmm. when we were first mm -hmm. able to activate it, and you used it to kill off Bastelon, the Juve, I think. Yeah. With the in combat, and just yeah. like ripped them to pieces, yeah. and then uh, and then the next two turns, I was able to get yeah. it, and I was able to have some fun with Turn it. it on. So well, we'll have held it up for a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is that's insane. Good that bowling on you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like five. even the second time that I attacked Wilhelm with him, you still rolled a f one, one save, five, yeah. and then the other one failed. And unfortunately, that was the one that took you of action. So, but it was, it was good. It was good. I think it was a good game. I think it was hard for you guys. Yeah, but I think I would have played too, it different. Too definitely. hard, maybe. No, uh, again, I think. Well, for me, it was dice because I think you I, roll I rolled like crap, dude. Like maybe about. Ten times and yeah. I got one hit. Yeah, yeah, no wounds. That's terrible. Like you rolled like crap. 
-hmm. like crap. And did five we, shots from 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 a champion. Did and we get and to take any shots? I don't remember. It's you so, didn't take. No. I don't think you took any. The star, shots. the stars of the game were Sean's characters. Really. Yes, mm -hmm. Phantom like, and Krieg. Yeah, yeah. They they both took out a champion. Um, Phantom did something. Yeah, <laughs> finally. <laughs> he just didn't sit Ripped there in the back. Stabbed guys. I think it's all about it's all about the shadows. Yeah, for him. yeah. Oh, oh, it's too bright in here. Yeah. I'm not gonna blend. I can't see. I need my glasses. I'm Riddick. <laughs> you hit a guy with a knife in the dark, which was cool. It didn't yeah. wound him. That's right. Hit him. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. So that's good. So next scenario, I'm gonna make an announcement now. Next scenario is going to be a rescue mission. So the uh, Kiln Forge Renegades are coming back. Trying to save their leaders. So you guys are down your leader and you're mm -hmm. down Larkin, but you're up one new champion. Yes. So should you be got interesting. Fun toys. Should be interesting. Should be very interesting. Unfortunately, you guys won't be activating like normal. You guys will have like sentries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And these guys have to like sneak up to you and, and, and good, see what happens. So that's that a good be, That's gonna be almost. interesting. So guys. If you haven't yet, check out uh, the Patreon link down below. Uh, you're gonna find a battle report on there where uh, where uh, Wilhelm uh, found out about this place and went and sort of did like a recon beforehand and might have encountered some of his uh, old comrades in the uh, Tech Stalker gang. Uh, you'll also find a write up on Wilhelm because we started with him. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to do another write up for another guy. I think Sicarius would be the most makes the most sense because he was the second guy to help sort of mm. jumpstart the gang. So you'll find stuff like that on our Patreon so you can sort of delve into the narrative and the story that much more uh, by giving us support. And really it does come back and it just goes right back into the game. It's not like I'm taking the money and pocketing it for like, you know, <laughs> going to Vegas or something like this. My pockets have like lint in them, okay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, but it goes into like getting more stuff, like better like quality terrain, stuff along those lines for, for you guys and for the battle reports. So, uh, we appreciate all the support. So, well, guys, till next time, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, ignite your hobby. Creeper President. 2020.